Hello, in this video I'll be going through the Pegasus user interface. Pegasus consists of the main viewport, an outliner window, and an attribute window with various tabs. To rotate the camera, hold Alt and left click and move the mouse. To zoom in and out, the middle mouse button can be used or Alt and right click simultaneously. To track or pan, press Alt and the middle mouse button simultaneously. Various orthographic views can be selected by holding control and pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. To focus on an object, select the object and press the F key. This also updates the pivot point of the camera and the camera will now rotate around the selected object. There are various buttons around the user interface that perform different functions, as well as menu commands that give access to the core functionalities of Pegasus. The buttons on the left of the screen control the manipulator or mouse tool. The first button is a select tool. This is used to select objects in the viewport. The next button is a translator tool. This is used for moving objects or actors in the scene. The next tool is the Rotate tool, which allows you to rotate individual limbs or body segments. The last tool along this group is the Scale tool. This is for increasing the size of an object or actor. All of these manipulators correspond to field entries in the Transform tab in the Attribute window. Values can be manually entered instead of using the mouse. The middle set of buttons are used to associate characters and perform various retargeting functions and will be covered in different videos. These last two buttons are used to import characters or data from Blade or Tracker. The button on the far right is used to start the runtime solve. For the menu commands, you can create a new project which clears the viewport and the outliner. You can open a saved Pegasus project, or you can save out a project, or save one out with different naming scheme. There's also FBX controls to import, which is mainly used for bringing an avatar into Pegasus, or to save out the Pegasus scene as an FBX. In the edit menu, undo and redo commands can be accessed. These associate and template tools will be covered in other tutorial videos. And some options to rotate character in 90 degree increments, or minus 90 or 180. As well as this, there's also a command to delete scene, which will clear an FBX scene from the main viewport. In the view commands, you can show or hide skeletons or task constraints. In the server settings you can define the server name as well as the port number. In the output settings you can define what output port will be used as well as enabling VRPM. Thanks for watching this video on the Pegasus user interface.